Hi, welcome to simplypeace.com. In this session, we're taking a look at the Dekine Nomad backpack. It's an 18 litre backpack with a built in reservoir system included in the bag itself. So let's go ahead and take a close look. So, a really great backpack, this one, got loads of features on it. If we start at the front here with this panel, really great panel, this, you can utilise it for a lot of things. Once open, stretches out into this baffled pocket section. This is a great place to stash in your helmet. You can pop that in there and utilise in these side clips. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Clip it in nice and tight. Alternatively, use it as a bit of a stash pocket as well. Maybe chuck in a small jacket or your gloves, your hood, scarf, anything like that. It can all be stored in there. Nice and easy to get to. We've also got a little small insulated pocket just behind that as well. And again, a great little stash area for anything that you need to keep insulated throughout the day. At the bottom, you have a couple of little clips which are stashed away while you're not using them. Nice and easy to pull out. A couple of quick release clips at the top and then the corresponding clip tucked away underneath. And the main reason or design for these clips at the bottom here is if you carry around any protection with you, maybe elbow pads, knee pads, anything like that for the day, you obviously don't want to be wearing them throughout the day itself. So you can obviously remove them, then using these clips, stash them underneath here. So if you've had a day in the park, got all your protection on, obviously then want to whip back down into town, take them all off, stash them at the bottom of your bag, keep them nice and safe, and obviously have a bit more freedom while you're riding. Also got a couple of little stash pockets down the side as well. Again, great little size for any bits and pieces that you need to get into. The way these are orientated as well, really easy to get to down the side when you've got the bag on. So you can maybe pop in a compact camera, your wallet, your keys, phone, anything like that. Nicely, easily stashed in there. Behind this main panel, we have another pocket. Uh, a few extra little storage bases in here. We have a little zipped mesh pockets, one towards the top and then one just underneath it as well. Another little great place just to separate all your bits and pieces inside the bag. Another elasticated mesh pocket and also a little tubular pocket as well. If you decide to use this bag for maybe a mountain bike or anything like that, this is a great place to store in a bicycle pump, slide in there nice and easily. We zip this one up and then take a look at the main compartment at the back of the bag here. As we said before, 18 litres, so loads of space in here. Get more than enough room for all your day's bits and pieces. We've also got a little MP3 pocket as well at the top here. This is a fleece lined pocket, so you can pop your MP3 player in, keeps it nice and safe. You can then utilise the little port at the top here as well to feed through your headphones, listen to your music while your MP3 player stays nice and secure. On the back of the bag, just do all these clips up. The backpack system on this bag is really good. Not only do we have aerated foam pads inside the actual shoulder straps themselves, we also have a nice large section down the actual back plate as well. This is a great place, channels air all the way up the back plate inside as well, and these pads keep you nice and comfortable, and obviously all that aeration stops you from overheating as well. Another features we've got on here, as we said, nice padded shoulder straps, nice and comfortable. As you can see, we have the hose from the hydration system, which I did say is included with this bag. You can orientate it on either side. We can have it down the side here using these elasticated straps. We've also got them on this side as well, so left or right, it's not an issue. An adjustable chest or sternum strap in the middle here. This is elasticated as well, which prevents these shoulder straps from sliding off your shoulders while you've got it on. Quick release clip in the middle, nice and easy to get in and out. And also a couple of sliders down the side here so you can really adjust it, get it to fit nice and securely. And a nice big chunky quick release clip on the waist strap as well. Got foam aerated mesh panels on the side, keeping you nice and cool. And this is also fully adjustable as well so you get a nice good fit with the bag, keep it nice and firm against your back. On the back plate, as we mentioned before, we've got the nice big foam panels. But behind this is where the reservoir is stored. So this is literally just clipped into place at the top here, keeps its correct orientation throughout the day. Can unclip this at the top, 
and she'll just pull this reservoir bag straight out. So this is a three litre capacity bag. This has got more than enough fluid in there to keep you going for the day. Really simple system as well. This is just by sliding off this top clip, unfolding it, and then gain access inside as well. So you can really easily fill this up with any fluid that you want throughout the day. And obviously folding it down again and slipping that clip back on keeps it nice and secure, keeps that fluid from coming out and obviously spilling inside the bag. Really easy to get back in again. Which is just by sliding it in and clipping it to that top section. As we said, keeps its correct orientation throughout the day and prevents it from leaking out. Zip that all back in. Keeps it nice and secure. So of all these great little added extras with the aerated foam on the back here, keeping you comfortable, the hydration system included, and this exceptionally versatile front panel on the bag, it's a great backpack to take up the slopes with you for the day.